Rolf Eichmann, does, I call her I don't want to say in connection with all those witnesses. This Litzeni is lying. Hess. Hess. Semel has a commute to have a commute to the ship. He has no reason to shift the blame onto Eichmann. He is a liar. This liar is a liar. Here I am ready to join him. Milner, his very friend, he met him in the Argentine. I quoted this part of his statement. He is a liar. Six. His witness is also a liar. President Kurt is it the same Milner, the one who was in Denmark earlier? Morgan of the S. S. His own witness, Wigman, is a liar. All of them a pack of liars. He is the only one speaking the whole truth. He believes that he can go back to the word he made to the police in his statement. He says to the court, see, when I testified at the police, I took up my arrest of Grieber, and they just proved in court it was proved that I did not arrest him at all. That is, that I did not remember well and was ready to take blame upon myself. He goes on to speak in details. I have in the light of carrying this blame while I myself was not arrested and I was carrying this blame on my conscience all those years whilst my hands were clean. <coughs> and he is even prepared to go further. He describes it was Zassen in the part correctly in his own hand the competence he had at the time, his total authority, his status at the time. And when he is asked, and I realized from the documents shown to me here in court that I was mistaken. Your Honours, he needs documents to describe what he did, 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 his authority, his competence was at the time. This he wants to collect from documents in the hands of the prosecution, fragments of documents. He in the Argentine bears with pride his title, and what his authority was, and how his orders would reach and would be implemented. He claimed that he was mistaken. The court will remember that when I asked him to read the Russian memoir, right here on the spot, in this very cell, twice, 
שינה דבר על ידי כך שבמקום שהיה כתוב שבט הזישה את פוליטאי קראנו אז נכן הרי ספיר את אס ישיבה 102 עמודים 15 16 ואגב התיקון היה שלו בכתב ידו הוא מתקן טוב קריאה A statement made by him. And once again, when he erasing, he introduces the little word "no," changing the sense of the whole quotation. But how are these things done? Right on the spot. וכאן כבודכם, אולי הדבר המרכזי להערכת הסייבי. מי שיכול לענות כך בחקירה, ולהתמצא כך בכל נפתוליה, ולהגיד כדרך שהוא הגיב, על כל מכשול, And overcome or try to overcome any obstacle. So this is not a small man, not a very insignificant screw in this big machine. This is a man of considerable intelligence. He cannot come out of it. reasonably and intelligently <laughs> on this network <laughs> of rules <laughs> and evidence against <laughs> him. <laughs> he must contradict himself from <laughs> time to time. <laughs> Therefore, he must give excuses <laughs> which have no founding in our basement. <laughs> but <laughs> but his and his purposes, this We saw, after all, the cross-examination. Oh, Here we realize Adam Asher, man, in answer to questions put by the court and the cross-examination, observes, not to the point, but finds an excuse out of his sleeve, cunningly, cleverly, and reveals the real type and ability of finding his whereabouts immediately. And what he showed us in the regard to his wonderful memory, also the very essence of his appearance here. The very essence of what he said in the אבל מה עמדו גדל והתרחב? תפקידים נוספים הוטלו עליו מדי פעם ופעם? גם היקף המחלקה עליו? והייתה מעמדו האישי של האדם בתוך כל המנגנון הזה לא היה קשור כנראה בדרגה, אלא ביכולת להשתלט על הדין. But on the possibility and faculty to hold sway over matters, and this is what he knew full well. If he was endeavoring to tell you, Your Honors, that he was not an anti-Semite at all, כמובן זה היה אחד האבסורדים אליהם מוכרחים להגיע כאשר רוצים לומר הכל עשיתי מתוך כפייה אנוס על פי פקודה לא מרצון ולא מאמונה 
reluctantly and not out of faith. Dr. Grieber, Dr. Grieber already told us that national socialism, national socialism like was connected with inveterate and Islamism and uh, boundless hatred of Israel, of the people of Israel. And you see, Your Honours, the style he is resorting to. As Argentina. Then and in the Argentine. Let's assume that he has to frustrate the efforts of the to rescue the Jews. Uh, just in, uh, in support of the Miller, I let us assume for a moment that Miller told to him stop. right so to that, so uh, that uh, the Norwegian Jews should to not be held right that, that uh, uh, they should not be held right to some but dozen of people who wanted to come out of the the Jewish dog I'm going to liquidate him, this is what he said. Well, I believe this was uh, verbal, written. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, written in Kastner This is about what the Swedish delegation was complaining in Berlin, and the foreign ministry did not deny it at all. They said that the Mas words were written in the heat Misa of the moment. What did Walter try? He was Yudi. trying to save some Jews from his claws. That is what he was trying to do. Kamal he was trying to extricate people from the rebel. This is the Jewish dog, as he says. I'm going to shoot him dead. This is what he says. And when Lesnar, the man about whom Dr. Gruber says, from time to time, would listen to him occasionally, and he tries to help Lesnar in his denazification trial here, this man here still wants to accuse Lesnar and to put him among the fanatic Nazis like himself as it transpires from the relevant document. This document describes Eichmann as one of the greatest Jews who was not ready to reconcile even to the compromise Hitler wanted to consider that uh, the uh, Jews uh, uh, who were uh, 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 upon a time serving in the German army would not would be released from the uh, uh, foreign of their uh, 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 however, or Adolf Eichmann, wouldn't be ready to reconcile to this particular compromise. Haj Amin al Husseini. Uh, al Husseini. Was the man who saw in Eichmann a precious gem? Was the one who was looking for the carnage in this country? To a blood bath here, obviously, his heart would warm to the Eichmann man, Hangman in history, and Eichmann in his 
is receiving from of the Lord and trusted friends and among others. What are the most important emissaries? They are not only the most important emissaries. They are not only the most important emissaries. Destruction would extend over the entire world. Mufti himself was requesting the help and assistance of a man like I here, so that he could assist him, so that he could help him to build של 29 ושל 36, לעזור לו לחלות את המלאכה, הוא ראה ששם עושים את זה יותר טוב. אבל הוא אינן זוכר אם ביסליטני היה האדם אשר נתקבל בהצעה הזאת וכך הוא מתקתק. אמנם ביסליטני אומר שהצעה נפלאה הזאת להיות יועצו של המופתי לפתרון בעיית היהודים בפלשינה הקדושה אליו בכל מקום בו דרכה כף רגלם של אלה Wherever they set foot, immediately, Africa was to Africa. As soon as the Africa called, Africa called Africa immediately the persecutions of the Jews immediately their deportation. show Eichmann some Jews hiding somewhere <laughs> in the <laughs> fireway <laughs> <place. laughs> in Monaco, for example. Let him be informed, let him be informed that there were some Jews in Lichtenstein. The occupation of activities would spread its feelers all over the place to track those that were hiding. ועוד בארגנטינה, שהוא כבר משוחרר מכל קשריו, מנדרור, כפי שאמר לכם, כיצד הוא כותב על אדם שהעז להביע ביקורת על דרכו של הטירות, ואיזה כינויי גנאי הוא מכנה בשולי אותו ספר שקרה. אדם אשר חושב לאחר זמן שמא צבא היטלר הוא במטע בדרך ניהול המלחמה. אשראי נשאר נאמן לפירר שלו גם עד הסוף, גם אחרי מותו של הפירר. איש כזה צריך לפשוט אורו מעליו, הוא כותב בשבילך. אם כאלה היינו מוכרחים להפסיד את המלחמה. והנציונל סוציאליזם המרעיל והמורעל is emanating from every word he writes, from every marginal note he jerks down. When we asked him about the things that he wrote, the remarks, he said that this is a purely private matter. I did not lend this book to anyone as far as I understand. ועל תחבולות 
האומה היהודיות הטיפוסיות, כך הוא כותב כאשר נודע לו כי קרומי חברו יעמוד לדין או יסתבך בתהליך משפטי בגרמניה. ומה הוא אומר? ובזה הוא מודה, אלה הם תאים שעליהם לא היה כל ויכוח. ומה הוא אומר כאשר נודע לו שכמה יהודים ניצלו מציפורניו בהונגריה? מה הוא רוצה? בארגנטינה. אם זה כך לא על מצפוני הדבר שמדינת המגיירים נאנחת עד היום מסבל השוטרים החשאים האלה. ויסליצני וקרומי הם יהיו שם. 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 אם כך דיבר בארגנטינה, 12 שנה לאחר גמר המלחמה, האם יש מקום לפקפק בכך אייכמן אומר כי באותה אווירה של דמדומי אלים לקראת סוף המלחמה אסף חייליו ואמר להם כדי הגיע סוף המלחמה הזאת הייתה מיליונים חמישה מיליון אויבים וגרמנים נספו The foes and the Germans had been killed, but the end had come, and now I'm ready to jump into the end. This is one version, and he says that he spoke about five million of foes of the Reich. This is his version, Your Honors. Apart from the fact, of course, that the world of the free world has been more than five million of foes of the Reich. There are many more. הרבה יותר משלוש פעמים חמישה באותה מלחמה כדי למגר את המפלצת הנאצית. אבל נניח שבהיסטוריה אין בקיבוצים. איזה אויבים היו לו? על איזה אויבים יכול היה לדבר בפני אנשי מחלקות? באיזה חזית עסק הוא? סבורדינט. In what front was he acting? What foe did he doom to destruction? What enemy did he smite root and branch? He was fighting only one enemy. And he said it quite clearly. He was only destroying the Jews. And he will not be the last time he wants to be the Jews. או איזה סיכום מעשה אירוע. אמנם נפסדנו, אבל גם אויבים הלכו איתנו כרומה, אין לו אויבים אחרים, אלא אויב היהודי. ואלה לחם, וזאת הייתה חזיתות. ואולי כך אמר ורופיב פה בחקירה שהיהודים דיבר על חמישה מיליון יהודים. הוא פעמיים דיבר על זה. פעם אחת הראה לו את המשפט, את אותו הקטע, מצד 43, ופעם ראיתי לו אנוכי את הקטע מלדעתו על חמישה מיליון יהודים לדבר. אלא שהוא רוצה לשכנע אתכם כי מתוך צער דיבר על האויבים שלכם. אם נחבר 
הוא יצרף ונעמיד זה מול זה את דברו על חמשת המיליונים כאן, חמישה מיליון יהודים, את עדותו של ויסליצני, שהוא אמר לו לויסליצני, לא אכפת לי, אני את שלי עשיתי, אם הפסדנו במלחמה, אני את המלחמה שלי אני אראה בשמחה אל אבות אם אני יודע שמשכתי איתי חמישה מיליון יהודים זה אמר הוא לא לחם לא בצבא הסובייטי ולא בבנות הברית המערביות. אך ירייה אחת לא ירה לעברם. הוא לא עמד במערכות הגרמניות בחזיתות אחרות. הרייכספיינד אויבי הרייך שהוא יכול היה לדבר. יהודים היו. ושישה מיליון נפש שאל רצונו הם כפי שאמר לגרל יהודים היו ושישה מיליון כנראה שפעם הוא נוטל על מצפונו גם את קורבנות האיינזץ גרופי ופעם כנראה הוא נוטל מחשבונו האישי את אלה ולכן אנחנו מטיילים בפיו בין המספר החמישה ושישה. ולהטל אמר במפורש, קילינו שישה מיליון יהודים. בשמחה דיבר על כך, ולא בצער. ורק מקום אחד דיבר בצער, ומקום אחד בפני זסנק. בסוף הדברים, כאשר נתן הסבר לזסנק, מדוע לא גמר את המלאכה? מדוע נותרו היהודים? כמובן, עופר היום. אוקיי. ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומרת,ואומר
become uh, Hitler to call on, on Europe the age of yes, darkness um, that fell on Europe when Hitler oh, seized power has some brighter lights. The and the Jewish people will never forget those who shocheach as it will never forget its foes. Ad ayom anachnu ma'im al sifatemu betoda berokara zichro shel melech parsi kadmon of the former Persian king Cyrus asher ifsher who enabled lagolim lachzor larzam the exiles to come back to the country and we shall always remember. את מטיבנו שניסו להציל מעט. Those who helped to rescue. אנחנו לא נשכח את אצילותו של העם הדני. We shall never forget the nobility of the Danish people, the entire Danish people, להצלת יהודי דנמרק. אנחנו לא נשכח את החסד שגמל עמנו בית המלוכה הבלגי. We will never forget the nobility of the Danish king and the Danish underground which were endeavoring to help. We shall never forget the Belgians and the Belgian underground, Norway and the Norwegian underground, which uh, smuggled the Jews into Sweden and the risk of their lives. We shall never forget the Swedes for having a standard and we shall never forget Raoul Wallenberg who had saved thousands of Jews from the Jews of death in Hungary. We shall never forget the French resistance that saved the Jews and rescued them wherever they could. We shall never forget the Dutch people for having identified themselves with the Jews and put on the uh, Jewish badges. The strike they uh, declared in order to identify themselves with the Jewish ordeal. We shall never forget the church in Holland, the global activities. The church which expressed quite clearly and outwardly its um, we shall never forget the Italians who tried to put spokes at the wheels of the plans of Mussolini. We shall never forget the uh, convents and monasteries in Italy and the rank and file of the Italian nation. So many as rallied round the Jews. We shall not forget the those in Poland risking their own lives, jeopardizing their own safety, risking their lives and dooming themselves to destruction. There was Polish underground. There were little men and women the small crime that helped him to live a life. We heard about the Lithuania. We know, for instance, about mothers who would, over the fence, hand their babies to Lithuanian peasant women. We heard about Dr. Gruber and his friends within Germany itself. We heard about their supreme and unflinching effort, their unswerving determination at the risk of their lives to help and rescue. We heard about people who believed in man and believed in their neighbors. They were within Germany. The small fry, as Grieber himself pointed out.
אנשים אשר יצרו מחתרת, אחת ממטרותיה הצלת יהודים. והואיל ואנחנו איננו דנים צדיק ורשע כאחד, נדע למנות את מעט הצדיקים בתוך סדום הרשעה. those who helped and those who are good in this ocean of evil and hideousness. Their name will be engraved in, my, in our memory, and if it please the court, I shall read to you a few words written by a Gentile on this חרוזים אחדים חרז וצטים בספרו של קוגון על האס-אס. הם תורגמו לעברית לפי בקשתי על ידי מר ארי אבנר ולאנגלית על ידי מר רוזן. כך דיבר גרמני נרדף. את הארץ הזאת אל ליבי אימצתי. ובאתי אליה בשפע דמויות. שליחים על שליחים אליה הרסתי, אך לא הכרתם את פניי במראות. עם לילה דפקתי עברי חיווריין, בלות נעלי כפליט מגורש. רצתם לשוטר, הוקרתם לקליין, ותאמרו כזקנה נרעדה שרוחן חיים, בזעקת אלם הרכנתי ראשי. אתם דיברתם בדורות הבאים, ורק את עפרי שילחתם לחופשי. מערבות המזרח שמונע היתום, על פת לחם נפלתי למרגלותיכם. אחתם יגורתם מנקם בבויון, וסגרתו לי למוות, מושכים בקטעתם. כאסיר וכאבת, שכיר יום מכולי, באתי נחטף ומוכה בשוט. הסבתם אינכם מראשי מגוגלל. התכירו פניי בבואי לשפוט? וכלפי פנים שופטיי ורבותיי נתגלו גם כאן האורות מאופן. עמידת העם היהודי המוכה עומד בדד מוקף חומות של שטנה ושל קלגסים שהוא מתרומם לגילויי גבורה שלא ידע לאירופה בכל מחתרת שלי ובכל הארצות המרד, הפרטיזנים, המחתרת היהודית, המחתרת בפולין, זאת ששמענו עליה בהונגריה מפי של רוזנברג וגם אלה אשר הלכו כאשר שירת אני מאמין באמונה שלמה בפניהם אני מאמין אמרו עד רבע אחרון כי המוות לא לשבו that this death was not in vain. There is no 
There is no consolation. That the third of the nation has fallen. But there is solace in the fact that the Jews knew how to face the enemy with dignity and pride. And they said in those days this is our Lord, the clouds of despair, have hidden the light of despair, but the time will come when a bright moment will loom before us, before those who will survive. In conclusion of this chapter, Your Honours, I shall recall something which I omitted perhaps in the first chapter, namely the great of the people this world about the Yugoslavs. the Greeks all those who cherished man in occupied countries of Europe all those who struggled against the satanic forces of the conqueror in order to rescue men from the jaws of death No, this time this belongs to you. And now I'm approaching the end. And I wish to make a few remarks. I was told that among the list of the satellite countries which later resisted the Jews, although they had contributed to the crimes earlier, there is also Bulgaria, and I must mention this, in order not to remain in their debt, and I wish to recall the German city of intervened on behalf of Jews, and his affidavit was submitted to the The horrible sight of the executions by the Einsatzgruppen is described there. I wish to mention this. If so, then you should mention Romania as well. Yes, Your Honor, I'm coming to that, to Romania. I see. Romania, Romania Antonescu, although Antonescu was first presented by Hitler as an example of a statement who knows how to solve the Jewish problem, Romania did not surrender to the Jews. It is true that Romanian Jews were saved in spite of all the intrigues and endeavors and in spite of the deception and lies employed by Eichmann and his uh, representative Richter in Bucharest, eventually, in spite of which struck the Jews of that country in the camp of Transnistria, a large part was saved. Scores of thousands died but hundreds of, hundreds of thousands were rescued. And one more remark. 
Life, with regard to the magazine Life and the articles which we showed to the accused during his interrogation, and this was shown to him in his interrogation I would requi request the court to note that first the accused made his comments about his articles later when his comments grew in number as he testified as uh, superintendent as testified here he undertook to mark with agreed uh, notations those passages about which he had reservations and therefore those other passages bearing no markings must be regarded as being accepted by him without any reservations. Adolf Eichmann, Adolf Eichmann acted the perpetration of these crimes with which he charged in the most extreme and merciless way and the most brutal way conceivable. It can have an effect on And I would like the court to rule that he acted zealously, willingly, and lustfully to the very end. He did all that was required to do. And if there remain Jews in spite of everything, in spite of his endeavors, this is not to his credit. This is because of the advancement of the Soviet armies that saved the remnants in the eastern countries, the few survived and on the of the Western Allies from the other direction where they could still save a few score thousand inmates of the camp. And those armies too and the salvation which the remnants experienced will redound to their everlasting credit and they deserve the gratitude of the Jewish nation. No, Adolf Eichmann it was not Adolf Eichmann who said when he spoke to Zassen, I did not succeed in my mission last, and he apologized he said that they did not manage to stoke the stoves with all the Jews to stoke the furnaces with everyone. Thus, your honors, we review the revolution which the Nazis wanted to bring about in Europe and throughout the world. To set back the wheels of progress, to wipe off the face of the earth the achievements of progress, and to establish a blind obedience to a dictator like Attila the Hun, Hitler was the scourge. Attila bragged that no grass would ever grow. Hitler, Adolf Hitler and his accomplices bragged about the brutality and their capacity to kill a human being without a spark of mercy, to raise cities, exterminate nations, and liquidate states. There is, there is a limit to the number of people whom one individual can murder from hate and the bloodthirstiness of God, but there is no limit to the number of people that can be killed from systematic, level-headed, cool decision of a categorical decision.
and a categorical order to Jewish people tragedy was the first victim, although there are many signs that if they had been victorious, the Jews would not have been the last victim. The Zamosh deportation, Slovenia, they testify to that. Rain down on the defenseless multitudes of the Jewish nation. And they cannot be brought back to life. Lament their death and A new to come to lament to the nation, to that part of the nation which has been struck down. But there must be justice for what was perpetrated against them. And I am proud of the fact that days have come in which a citizen of Israel can speak the language of justice to an evil doer which was captured here in this state. One does not speak to these evil men pleadingly and beggingly. And one does not have to bribe them. One does not flee There is no need to flee frightfully from one country to the other. Here law and justice prevail. And the period of the return of the exiles of Judea and Jerusalem Justice is being done here in the traffic here for the blood of the just as the prophet Joel had foretold. And I again ask you, O judges of Israel, render a just, a just and truthful verdict. Questions performed in the course of this which is charged here as being a crime. Thank you, Mr. Hausner. The coming session is on Monday morning at 8.30. Thank you very much. And uh, we shall be listening to the summing up by the council. <laughs>